everybody tends to think that if you want to have crazy amounts of energy, it's about something you should be doing or adding to your life, like coffee or a whole bunch of cocaine and other drugs. But in reality, the people that have the most energy tend to actually avoid those things and instead they focus on something else. Now, that something else is what we are focusing on in this video here today. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. So the thing about energy is that everybody thinks it's something you add, right? You add the coffee, you add the whatever vitamins, you do the little five hour energy shot, you take vitamin C or whatever people think gives them energy. Green juices, magical supplements, bulletproof coffee. None of this can add, actually add to your body's energy. And here's why. So the way we humans are wired is that basically we have a building up regeneration phase which is our sleep, our recovery, our non-action, our not doing, and the active phase of our days, which is where we work, we eat, we do hard things, we lift things, we chop wood, we hunt, etc. Now the thing is, there's a certain ratio that needs to be dedicated to both. And what is very absent in the modern world is the recovery part of the equation. Often when we don't have too much energy, it's because we're ever overemphasizing that yang active part and under-emphasizing the recovery part. Now, it's not just a matter of work or not work. It's not just a matter of rest, recovery, or doing an activity. It's more nuanced than that. But the first fundamental principle here, the first habit I wanna emphasize, is stop emphasizing the increase part of the day. The activity, the add more, the coffee, it's all drawing from the energy reserves, which is supposed to be that gathering part of your day, which is the non-work, the non-action, the sleep, and the recovery. So right now, what you could actually do is literally make a list of what is adding and what is subtracting. And for almost all of us, the biggest source of like energy leaks is the constant using of technology, of being on the phone and Instagram, this constant use of our nervous system to be active and firing and going, rather than when we're in line, maybe ordinarily what we would have done is just sat there quietly for 10 minutes waiting. That would be recovery and gathering, not flipping through the feed and like pondering and typing and researching and all this mental activity. So the second habit here, how do you actually focus on that recovery aspect? Like I said, it's not just about sleep more and work less. The second part is minimizing your energy leaks. Now, what I see is that there are three main types of energy leaks. The first one is emotional, so it's related to your internal state. The second one is related to the external, the things you're adding. And the third is related to the work life balance. So the first way to minimize these kind of energy leaks is emotional states. Now, have you ever noticed how on vacation where you're kind of lighthearted, you're pretty happy, you're like, hey, I'm in Belize, let's go to the beach and just swim and maybe we'll take a nap and hang out. There's so much less of an uh inside, like that pressurized feeling you feel when you're around someone you dislike or you have to wake up and go to a job you hate. That pressurized feeling, especially in Chinese medicine, drains your energy. When the day is much more smooth internally, again, this is an internal feeling, a subjective feeling, you're going to have a lot more energy throughout the day. So the first thing is to minimize all those things that make you go, Ugh! whether that means changing the external, like getting a new job, or it means better control over the internal, like internal cultivation. So that's the first thing for minimizing energy leaks, focusing on the internal states. That also means avoiding the people that make you go, Ugh! which may be is a friend or is someone in your family. The second thing to minimizing your energy leaks is too much variation. Too much variation in your sleep, too much variation in your eating, too much variation in all the regular cycles of your body. If you look at the natural world, it thrives on being cyclical, on consistency, and not on variation, right? The natural cycles are predictable, repeatable, and there are not that many birds, for example, that wake up at 5 a.m. one day and 8 a.m. the next day. This is the most natural way to keep the body regular. You're gonna sleep better, you'll poop better, you'll have a better appetite, you'll feel better. I don't know about you, but the times when I let myself go to bed at like four or five in the morning, even if I sleep 10 hours, I feel like crap the whole next day. Now in Chinese medicine in particular, there are particular reasons for that in terms of which of your organs actually have time to heal and recover. But in general, regularity is absolutely key for feeling good. So you could think of that in terms of your eating, in terms of your sleeping, and in terms of your working and what you do. And then the last thing is, how many activities in your day-to-day -day schedule are minus signs, and how many are plus signs? Minus energy, plus energy, right? 
purely subjective what you feel to be true. It could be minus energy going to your job or it could be plus energy if you love your work. It could be minus energy hanging out with your boyfriend or girlfriend or it could be plus energy. You know, pay very close attention to those internal states because it's not going to be a surprise how you feel the way you do if you literally wrote down everything you did in a day and if it was adding, if it was subtracting, or if it was somewhere in between and kind of neutral. But the big thing I want you to think about here is that the key to having friggin' massive energy is about de-emphasizing the plus part of the equation, the active part. We think we need to add coffee, add this green juice, add workouts. But in reality, for many modern people, the minus part, the recovery, the yin, the nighttime, all that stuff is what's missing. And I'm no better example of the person who overworks and there isn't enough time for recovery. But for many of us, especially because of technology, we're always on. There is no chance to just stop and recover and let the body build its stores again. So I hope that helps. That's a little bit of a different look at how to have more energy. Nothing to do with like the adding the green juice or more coffee or doing a whole bunch of cocaine because those can only work in the short run and they're not going to fix the really big stones in your life like maximizing this recovery cycle. What's up, guys? I hope that video helped. A different way to think about having more energy. Now, the best way to stay in touch with me right here is to, number one, download the free seven-day weight loss challenge on modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube or in the description right yonder, there, below. And on top of that, you can watch the last videos that just came out here and here, or you can follow along my up-and-coming traditional Chinese medicine channel in the description there below.